Hello, dear students. My name is Shailesh Gavi. I am an assistant professor at AISSMS College, Institute of Information Technology. I am basically from Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. Today, we will discuss about the types of inheritance. As we know that there are various types of inheritance, and today we will discuss about the multi-level and hierarchical inheritance. So, in multi-level inheritance, when the single level inheritance is extended to more levels, then it is called multi-level inheritance. In this type of inheritance, one class is derived from another derived class, and the level of derivation can be extended to any number of levels. You can see in this uh, general syntax. Class C is derived from class B, and class B is derived from class A. So here, class A is nothing but the parent class or super class. B and C are respectively their child class. With the help of this diagram, you can easily trace out how the uh, derived class inherits the properties and features of base class. For C, it is uh, B is the base class or parent class, and for B and C, A is the parent class or super class you can see uh, with the help of this source code void display is one of the function is used to calculate the base class content so in class a that is nothing but the base class class b and class c will inherit the contents of base class which might be name surname uh, color or other properties which is available for class A. In main function, you can calculate uh, with the help of obj newly created object for class C, and obj dot display is one of the function which will call the display value of a uh, parent class A. So we will get the various properties or inherited members of A in class C by calling the obj dot display function so this is nothing but the multi level inheritance let us see about the hierarchical inheritance when we talk about the hierarchical inheritance many subclasses inherited inherit properties from a single base class so it is nothing but the hierarchical inheritance you can see in the given diagram the base class contains the feature that are common to the subclass and a subclass can inherit all or some of the features from the base class in this diagram b c and d are the inherited or derived class from uh, super class or parent class a so all b c and d will uh, collect or uh, extract the features of class a this is general syntax of hierarchical inheritance we use this syntax for developing the program source code class first class second class third are derived from the base class base class is nothing but our parent class or super class with the help of this small program we can <coughs> calculate the uh, various uh, properties of derived class with the help of base class here base class is or parent class is animal and uh, the two different classes that is dog and cat is inherited from the animal or extracted from the class animal animal is nothing but our parent class or base class few features are different of each of the animals so that's why it is categorized with the help of different classes for dog it is uh, it can use the voice barking and the property for the cat is meow uh, uh, it is used at the end of this program or in main function how we can call the meow uh, voice or the barking voice of dog with so cat one is one of the object and uh, in info related to cat or info related to dog it is called with the help of dog1.info cat1.info dog1.bark cat1.meow 
mio meow so these are the uh, special characteristics of hierarchical inheritance so i will conclude with the help of reusability concept because it is everywhere used in object oriented programming and in any types of uh, inheritance we are use the reusability reusability concept anywhere in the program i have used two different books and uh, tutorials point for my references rajesh k shukla is one of the author and e balguru somi is the uh, famous author for uh, using the references thank you so much